Hi everybody, hope you're well. I'm back with Horse Aiden. So I managed to finish getting the love potion ingredients together like a couple of days ago and I gave it to the accountant and he did actually end up giving me some free items, some saddle soap and some detergent. So I put it in the my EC shop, or not my EC shop, but basically my Horse Eden um, shop to sell to other players. So I did that. And I think it's actually quite a neat idea. I want to kind of work out whether I sold more in like items than it took to buy the potion ingredients. So I'm going to try and work that out and see if it's maybe worth me doing it again. Um, for my current quests, I've quite a lot. I have to capture 25 horses. I've only managed to do five to send some away to the free range, which I've managed to do with 10, and then I have to geld 25 colts as well. So I've kind of been trying to slowly do that. I've put a load of horses up for sale. I managed to get all my staff paid after what I did last time, which was a bit horrendous. So thankfully, they're all happy at the minute, except for one man, which needs paid. So let's pay her now. So other than that, everybody's reasonably happy and it's not too bad. Um, I've been considering getting rid of this rider at the minute because there's only one horse I'm actually using them with. And so I'm sort of I'm back and forth with this at the minute. I haven't decided completely, but my barn is completely full at the moment. So I haven't like um, any space for any new horses at the moment. I've managed to capture a couple of wild horses and I've been then doing the breed approvals with them to try and get um, an idea if, if I can get one at least with premium in every um, different skill because I was thinking if I get myself like one with, you know, this one's got premium in uh, dressage, if I could get another one that had premium cross country, another one premium show jumping convention, maybe I could breed them together to get um, a premium horse in all aspects. So I want to do that for Irish drafts. And I'm also going to breed some Irish sport horses, I've decided. Um, my Irish drafts I want to try and do with my own wild horses. And the Irish sport horse I'm going to probably use a couple of other um, public coverings and things for. So I kind of want to try it in two different elements at the minute. So I managed to get an apricot, a registered Irish draft horse. And he's got these little, really interesting little markings as well. So I've kind of just been going along trying to get some interesting colors and trying to get them at least with one premium. I know it's going to be a bit difficult. Um, I know ideally it would be nice to have premium in at least two, but so far I've managed to get at least one stallion with premium in one of. Um, and then I need to go and get some fillies as well. So this one is a cold cream. I think he's the one that has a champagne gene. If I remember properly, I'm not 100% sure. But I've managed to get a couple. And this is one he think I think he has a silver gene as far as I remember. So I haven't managed to do breed approval with him yet. So I've been trying to make sure that I enter all of them into competition like at least three times a week because that's the most you can do. I don't know if I can do any breed approvals at the minute. No, I can't. But other than that, I've kind of just been like continuing on with that. Um, trying to learn a little bit more. People have been really, really helpful. Honestly, people have been helping me so much like to understand this and just in general. So I have quite a lot of mares at the minute and I can't, I don't know if anybody can like answer me this because I haven't tried yet because I only have 25 stalls. I don't think I can cover any of my mares because obviously there's no space to put the foal anywhere. So I'm sort of wondering what happens if I try to cover a mare, is it just going to say that I can't because I don't have enough stalls? So I don't really know in that respect actually at the minute um, what I can do there but I've put a couple of them up for sale. Most of them are sort of up for sale at the minute. I have a large portion here. I'm selling most of my geldings. You can see that there was a couple. I, I actually decided to geld Belur. I know that's awful of me. I know it's really terrible. I'm not going to sell them, but I've decided to keep them because I'm quite fond of him being um, the horse that I started with. Oh, I had a brown breathing token. But um, what I've been doing is, like with this one here, I captured him, and even though I liked him, um, he didn't have any premium ratings and he had a superb and then two averages so I decided he wasn't what I was going to want because I kind of want to try and at least start with at least one premium rating in each one and then kind of continue on. I know a couple of you have decided to try the game yourselves um, so you know if you've learned something because I didn't actually know you could friend people on this and then somebody was like sat me a friend request I was like 
oh, you can friend people on this. So then they showed me how to do that. So it's like just about learning it generally. And um, I like that it's a slower paced game, definitely. It's nice actually to sort of have that relaxed part of it. And um, some people suggested that I use the UC Davis website to predict the coat colors. I thought that was really good because it's a proper genetic site. Um, uh, so it's really actually fascinating if you're really interested in horse genetic colors just because you're interested or because you actually have real horses and you'd like to breed them and you want to understand color genetics, go take a look at this. Go take a look at that UC Davis thing. Honestly, it's, it's fascinating. It really is. So thank you so much to everybody who's been giving me a hand with this. It's really appreciated. Like genuinely, <laughs> you don't understand how much it's appreciated. So that's just a little update with this. Hopefully once I get a couple more of these quests on, I'll be able to do a little bit more. I've managed to get some awards. I don't know if anybody can explain it. I don't really understand these at the minute. Um, but hopefully I'm gonna keep going with it. I managed to sell a few things in my shop so far. Nobody wants my basil leaves, but what I might do is actually give my accountant um, another love potion. It seems you have to like, um, you get the ingredients and then you put it together and then you have to wait a couple of hours and like use your crafting time, kind of similar to the workshops in horse. So that's been quite interesting too, that you do have to, it's not an instantaneous thing, you do have to wait um, with that. So, and also I saw something, somebody pointed out in the comments um, about the stained glass horses. I don't know what that is. So I was trying to figure out what it was and I had a look and I couldn't find anything on it. So if anybody knows what that is, you know, please, it all help is appreciated so much. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you said a lovely day.